This is the last vlog with Miguel. Last one. Cue the intro, dive on in. So before we get into the last vlog with AEP, we gotta take a look at White Essay, my spirit animal. <laughs> ah, there he is. Dude, if you were a rattlesnake, that'd 100% be you. <laughs> you should open up the glass and just put your whole camera in there. Don't just play. Oh, just joking. Yeah, yeah. Just joking. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Miguel's special pet room, uh, hold back room, whatever you call it. Uh, I call it my um, pet room. Yeah. Pet room goes <laughs> but dude, um, have I showed you those little bad boys, dude? Look at these little things. What are these they? Tina's little uh, frilled dragons. These things are so freaking cool, man. Look at them. Man, they're Super big. docile, too, man. Oops. But yeah, these are so cool. funny, man. My favorite little lizards, man. Wow, they give piggyback rides? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you jump in to try to ride away. <laughs> but yeah, cool little guys, man. All right, so what do you got in this special rack right here? All right, here? so right here, you know, we had actually ran out of room because we were selling a lot of snakes over there, you know, and uh, I mean, we were hatching a lot of snakes over there. So we ran out. So I had to go pick this up from storage and I started putting all of my holdbacks in here. So everything that I'm keeping back is right in here. So I'll pull out a couple of uh, crazy powerhouses. Look at this. So right here we have a GHI Mojave Pied. Nice. 100% head clown. Oh, powerhouse. Isn't that freaking cool, man? Did I just hatch another one of these? So we have this right here. Um, I'm gonna show you something else that's really cool. This is my favorite clown that I have. It has the best head stamp. It looks mad. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that one. It looks like it has a unibrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so right here we have a, a leopard orange dream yellow belly clown 100% head pied. Very cool. All right, let me show a few more over here. Let's see what else is pretty crazy. You gotta love that cypress stuff. Look at this. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that right here. Spot so nose fire cypress clown. Wow. Yeah, this is actually, you know what? Um, It's not a holdback no more. It's actually going to Canada. So um, yeah, I ended up selling this thing because I ended up hatching uh, the cheetah looking one, which was the fire cypress Batman. But yeah, cool little guy right here. Yeah, I love that cheetah snake you hatched, by the way. Yeah, it's freaking awesome, man. All right, All right what do we got here, Miguel? Dude, so right here we have a cypress black pastel Candino. Wow, that's Look crazy. That. Seems so pretty, man. I love that cypress gene. Cypress is great. It's one of my favorites. All right. All right, so when I first started coming over to Miguel's, I don't know, it was like a year and a half ago, I think, you know, he was working with Mandarin, and I wasn't sold on it at first, but man, he's hatching out some killer pied Mandarin combos. So let's take a look at those, Miguel. So the crazy thing about a Mandarin uh, pieds, dude, that it's looking to have some kind of a, a paradox uh, thing in the, in the snake. I mean, look at this thing. Look how orange it is, man. It has more of a rustic orange than any other, you know, than the other snake that I've seen. And it's crazy, like, that saddle right there. Yeah. It's so cool. Again, very looking. paradox looking, right? Just, you know, yeah. like, almost see, like, the actual Mandarin, you know, um, pattern on it. So we have this one. And the cool thing about this, too, is that it's starting to look like it's, like, an inchy because it's leaving a lot. This one right here is head lavender as well. It's leaving a lot more pattern on it. So it's kind of like inchy and pinstripe. You know, they don't they, they don't really put like too high white of a of a pipe. Yeah, they, but help, again, they help bring the pattern they out. Look at of that it. again. Man, that a is a lot of freaking pattern, man. Look at those sides. That is way cool. I love a pied with a lot of pattern. Same here. I I'm like an 80-20, maybe yeah. like you know, like 70-30. But then this, we just hatched these uh mandarins and again, like we hit an well, one with pattern. That's the one I like. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little weird, right? I mean if you think about it. This is a Mojave Mandarin Pied, but again, Paradox came out again. So yeah, look, if you guys see, here's the Mojave all up front, but so then you got a Mandarin yeah. tail. <laughs> so it almost looks like it's Mojave from right here, Yeah. then Mojave Pied, Mandarin Pied, then Mojave Pied, I mean Mandarin Pied. Yeah. So it's like all three of them in a way. And every, every uh, Mandarin that we've hit has had a Paradox, you know, look to it. Here's the other one. Again, it's bringing out all the pattern again on the snake. And very orange, too. But you see? All around it. Yeah, those are phenomenal. I'm going to admit, I, I way underestimated the Mandarin. Dude, me too, man. I was like, holy hell, man. Once I started hatching these things out, I was like, freaking wow, man. Speaking of wow, I know you wanted to see this. We just talked about it. 
a little cheetah. Oh yeah. Look at that. We're definitely on board the Batman train. Dude, this is so freaking cool. So right here, let me see, I'll just bring out something to compare. So we have a Cypress Batman, and then we have a Fire Cypress Batman. Totally cool. This is totally cool. They're both phenomenal in their own right, you know? Yeah, they are, man. This one right here was just the man, the ice and all the cake. Look at all the jeans that it has on them. Fire, Cypress, Spot Nose Leopard. Dude, crazy. Killer. Let's see. Here's another snake that I'm really excited about right here, too, man. This thing's really, really pretty. All right, so that is a GHI Mystic? Yeah. All right. Yellow Belly, possible Orange Dream Head Pied. Which oh, wow. I think it is orange dream. I mean, you can see like you know the the color on the bottom of the you know the, on the saddles right here, a little yeah. orangey. Patterns kind of stretched out and stuff too. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So let me see. Let me show you something else. Show you something else. Anything with the GHI like Mojave and Mystics, they always turn out cool. They're visually appealing snake yeah. in my in my opinion. Oh, 100 percent. What about this one? This one that came out looking like a duck. Yeah, duck. <laughs> So this is another gene that I'm really excited about. This right here is a fire yellow belly lace um, head clown. And look at the bottom of this, dude. Look at the belly. So martial law, there's some lace for you. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> laced, I'm telling you. And clown's gonna be another, another crazy thing. I mean, they look like a desert ghost. Yeah. You know, such a clean, you know, looking snake. Hatched a few of these, man. Missed the visual, but you know, I hit a lot of these Look beauties. how it's got like a ringer yeah. by the neck instead of down by the tail. That's yeah, crazy. So so weird. And speaking of like, you know, those uh, paradox looking snakes, here's a cool one right here. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. What, what's the genetics of this one? Mojave banana, um, possible cypress. That is way cool. Yeah, because here's the actual, here's the one that has all the genes in them. But I don't know if the paradox is just not showing it well. I mean, yeah. Both, both I mean, very appealing. Be. I, I like a good paradox. Which snake, one would though. you take if you had to choose one? Oh, I would choose the paradox. Would you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had a special request before I came over here. So, can you ask Miguel what he personally looks for in eye-catching ball pythons and genes he likes to work with? Well, one obviously, you know, like clowns, one of my favorites, right? So, if I'm going to be looking to a new clown project, I try to look for something that's super rare. So, usually, I'm huge on Morph Market, and I'll see what's up for sale. And if I see like there's only like one or two of them, that's usually something that I'll like jump towards because there's not many of them for a reason. So, it gives you a better chance to grab one of those, put a powerful male to them or a powerful male they are, a female they already had to it, and make something you know different with it. So, would you take that like one or two of a kind unique animal and throw it to something else similar in your collection, something oh. else very yeah, unique 100. and just make something crazy mm -hmm. all and right that's the way i always look at it i always try to find something that not too many people have yeah i like that stuff too <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty snake right here man so right here we have a cypress cypress red stripe mojave yellow belly well, that's crazy this thing is beautiful man so i love snakes with stripes that's why i like genetic stripes yeah. and, and stuff along those lines and uh, obviously this isn't a genetic stripe but it's still got a really cool dorsal all the way down yeah, looks, th there's no break in it huh it kind of looks like a little puma though in a way right yeah yeah <laughs> so we'll see how this thing you know colors out or how the how the uk people say it puma oh yeah puma <laughs> puma oh here's another one we were talking about saying so you really like powerhouse man oh yeah another hold back Man, look at, I don't even think the camera does these justice. I mean, the side, look at the flames and stuff on these. I love I love these clowns like yeah. this. Again, right here, and this right here is a spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Look at that cool head stamp. That is why so clown pretty. is king. Dude, oh my gosh, 100%. That's a fa my favorite, favorite gene. And you know, when I first started coming over here to Miguel's, I'll admit that clown wasn't my most favorite, but as I got further into the industry and the hobby, like clown has quickly become yeah. one of my top favorites. Clown's going to be the best, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just the number one project to get into. Forever. A of, yeah. A lot of people <laughs> always say, oh man, so many people have them. It's too late. Not really. If you invest your money right and get some rare things that are not really out there, dude, grow them up and then find a male that's just got made, 
throw them in there, you'll catch up right to everybody, man. It's never too late. There's too much endless combinations in this right now, you know? By yeah. the time we ended up dying, by the time we end up dying and our kids end up dying, we're still not going to even unlock all these freaking quad, you know, quad hats, you know, with recessive genes and stuff. But look at this, man. Want to take a guess? Um, GHI? No. Pide? Uh, Pide, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so right here we have a yellow belly mahogany pie. All right, all right. Very that's nice. Crazy. That that's uh the saddle's really cool on that. It's yeah, not your it's typical good. saddle with the with the two black lines, yeah. you know. So check this out, man. Kind of pixelated. Seven eggs. Um, six eggs went bad. So there was only one egg, and it was towards a hat. So I got lucky to actually make one visual of it, man. So I don't know if I told Miguel this, but I let my wife cut our first pied clutch. It was a visual to a hat. Pairing, we hit four out of five pies, which was cool. Everything was male. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there, man. And if there's one thing that I've really, really been, uh, what's the proper word? I don't want to use the word I was thinking, but we've definitely been screwed a few times with the sex ratio more than the combo side, because I've been super male heavy this whole season, which in some cases is good, but we want to make some females to you know, like hold them back and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, we've been to some other breeders' houses uh, throughout the year, and, and they seem to have hatched a lot of males, too, so it, we're calling it the year of the male. Oh, dude, for sure. It, it, to us, it was probably like 70-30. 70% yeah. males and 30% females, dude. And in fact, we're picking up a male while we're here, so. Yeah, your male is very powerful, though, and I believe it's only like the third one to be, uh, to be made, too, so. Number three in the world. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let me take a guess. So, there's Inchy. Yeah. Orange Dream. Yeah. Yellow belly. Yeah. Uh, I'm lost after that. Pastel. All right. And pied. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah pied. <laughs> so Get pastel that. didn't go too bad with that. Dude, I actually like the way pastel came yeah. out with it. Cause look, here's the version of this without the pastel in it. But remember, oh, yeah, this one, this, side side. this one isn't shed though, so it looks a little more dull. All right, so we got identical ones. No pastel and pastel. But it sucks because, again, this one's in shed, man. Look at how pink the belly is. So it's actually a lot brighter. Um, but, yeah, it, honestly, I like the way the pastel actually looked with that. I was trying to get fire into this, but I missed the odds on that one, man. But this thing's freaking beautiful, though. I love pies. So I want to give a big shout-out to Miguel. You guys already are all subscribed to him, but if not, I'll leave all of his uh, information in the description down below. And this is our last collab for 2020, brother. Yeah, 2020. So, so I'll see you in two weeks for another one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Rock on, guys. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs>